guys, today's video is going to be a haul slash review on a few new e.l.f. products I've been using. The first products I'm going to be talking about are the e.l.f. matte lip colors. I have three colors. These are their brand new releases. And the first color is Rowdy Rouge. That's the color I'm wearing right now. The second color is Mulberry Maven. And the third color is Scarlet Night. So this is my very first time trying out e.l.f.'s matte lip products. And I'm really pleased. I love how pigmented they are. It feels really comfortable on my lips. And the matte finish is really beautiful. As you saw in the demo, they glide on really easily. It's effortless and the pigmentation shows up right away. These do start off as a really creamy product and then they get a little bit drier throughout the day. Um, these do transfer and you will see some feathering as well. So you definitely have to touch up throughout the day. I do really like these colors. They're really pretty. The first color, Rowdy Rouge, is a really pretty orangey red color. The second color, Mulberry Maven, is a deeper raspberry pink color. And then the last color, Scarlet Night, is a burgundy color with a hint of purple in it. Next up is the Kiss It Goodbye Lip Color Remover. This is a clear product. And the directions for this say, squeeze a small amount onto a clean finger and apply evenly all over lips. Leave on for around 30 seconds to activate and remove with a cotton pad. Repeat if necessary. So this is a really awesome product. It helps remove matte lip products like the one I'm wearing. And as you saw in the demo, this product works really well. It's very much like a lip gloss. It's packaged as a lip gloss. It's really easy to apply to the lips. And it is oil-based, so it does a really nice job at picking up the pigmentation of the color off of your lips. So I'm really pleased with this product and I'm so glad that e.l.f. came out with this. Next up is the e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. This is in the shade Espresso. And the directions say use short brush strokes, apply color where desired on brow or lash line to define. So this is a really nice product. As you saw in the demo, it was really easy to fill in my eyebrows with it. I really like the way my eyebrows look. It has a really natural look to it. It's not too harsh. The color is perfect for me. This is a waxier product, so it really clung to my eyebrows really nicely. It filled in the sparse areas, and usually with wax products, because I have so many sparse areas, I'm never sure if the wax product is going to cling to the spots where there's no hair and this does cling so it's really nice it's really easy to use and it definitely lasts for a long time i did try this out on my lash line and honestly i think it's a little bit too waxy for me i had a difficult time stroking it onto my lashes smoothly so i didn't really like it on my lash line and i personally wouldn't use a brown color as an eyeliner anyway so um it's definitely worth trying out to see if you like it as a eyeliner but i personally don't I do really like that you get a significant amount of product here. This is definitely going to last me a while. So I'm really pleased with the packaging. Next up is the clay eyeshadow palette. And this is the Saturday's Sunsets palette. So here is the packaging. I really like the packaging of this. It's really sturdy. Um, this is definitely something that you could travel with. And here are the colors. I really like the colors. The color that drew me in was this gold color and also this brownish purple color. These do have shimmery finishes to them. So if you don't like shimmery finishes, this is not the palette for you. I was actually really impressed with how pigmented these turned out to be. I wasn't sure what I was going to get. I don't think I've even tried out one of Elf's eyeshadows yet. This is a little bit powdery, so you have to make sure to blend it really well. Because it has the title clay in it, I assumed it was going to be a thicker formula, but it is very much like a typical powdery eyeshadow. So um, I'm not really sure where the title came from, but this is a more powdery formula eyeshadow. I don't think this is something that I would repurchase. I feel like when it comes to eyeshadows, I could definitely find something better 
in the drugstore. Next up is the Cream Contour Palette. It is packaged similarly to the eyeshadow palette. Again, really sturdy packaging here. So this is a customizable palette and I'm really happy that they came out with something like this because it's really difficult to find a contour shade that works for you within a palette. So I'm really glad that I get to customize my own shade here. Usually when I contour, I do a more deeper color on my cheekbones so that they stand out and then I do a lighter shade on my forehead and for my chin. So for contour, I actually mixed these two colors and then for highlight, I mixed these two colors and it worked really nicely on my skin. I was really pleased with how well I was able to contour and highlight with this. The formula is really creamy. Um, it was really nice and easy to blend. The very last products I'm going to be sharing with you are these brushes. So I've really been loving these brushes. They're super soft and even though they have titles to them, I've found so many uses for each of these brushes. They can be used for multiple things. So the Flawless Face Brush is really great for setting powder under the eyes. It has the perfect arch to sort of sit right under the eye, so I love it for that. It's great for blush as well and it's also really nice for bronzer because it's super soft and it's a really great shape. I did use the foundation brush to apply my foundation today and it did a really nice job at buffing out my foundation. It evened out my skin tone, there was no streakiness and it was really easy to use. And then the selfie ready powder brush is really nice obviously to apply powder. I've also used this for contouring. Um, again for blush because this compared to the foundation brush is a little bit more tapered on the side It's a little bit more narrow so it fits here really well and then the last brush the sculpting face brush is really nice for contouring of course i do have the original contour brush by elf and the difference between these two is this one has a little bit more movement to it and also it has that cut to it i actually found it a lot easier to blend with this i did apply my contour with this to the forehead and i actually blended out the product with it and it was really easy to apply to the jawline and it also fits in the contour of the face so this is a really nice brush i do feel like you can choose between these two you don't necessarily need both so overall i'm really pleased with the products that elf came out with you should definitely check them out if you haven't and that's it for this video thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye